Hello, my name is Josiah Ray, and I'm going to show you how to code a, a calculator in Java with two operands. Um, basically, that means that it can add and subtract or multiply and divide, etc. So here we are inside of NetBeans. I'm using that to code for Java. And this is our little calculator that we've created. It's got two inputs, two text boxes for inputs, and two buttons. And if you look over here in the navigator, you can see that the text boxes are named uh, txt value 1 and value 2, and the buttons are bnt, add and subtract. And those are uh, just programming standards to kind of keep all the text boxes together and the buttons together, but use whatever works for you. Um, so if we come over here into the, uh, the source area, you'll see that there's a couple of um, event listeners here for the add and the subtract button. Now you can add these very easily just by right clicking on one of the buttons and going to event action and then action performed and basically that for button means that it's been clicked. For other objects it can be just about anything but we're using that as a shorthand for the button because most of the time the button's only going to be clicked. So here we're declaring inside of, we'll look at the add button first. We're declaring a variable x and y and these are going to be integers and this code here int dot parse int basically takes a string which is all that a text box can hold and converts it to its number equivalent so if you put 200 or 300 into there it's not a number it's actually text and so that code there converts the text into a number and this the txt val1 dot get text is is Java's way of referencing the text that's inside of that text box. And uh, the second line is exactly the same, except instead of text box one, we're talking about text box two. And very simply, there's a, if you look into the navigator for the design, you'll see there's this label out, uh, LBL out. And that's just where we're going to put the result of our mathematics. So in this code here, LBL output dot set text, is how Java will put your result into that label. And the string dot value of with the open and close parentheses is the Java code for taking the number and converting it back to text so that the label can use it. Because a label like a text box can only use text. It can't really use the number. And it's just x plus y because we're we have a plus button there. And for the uh, subtraction button I basically just copied the code and pasted it and the only thing that I changed was I changed the plus to a minus and it's really that easy once you get one operand working it's it's pretty simple to begin doing the others so we'll run this real quick and you can see our little forms popped up here as a windows window with the add and subtract and I've got default values of 100 in there and if we hit the add it says 200 which is what it should be hit the subtract it says 0 so let's change the uh, second one to 150 and hit the add button again. Now it's 250 and if you hit subtract it actually does handle negative numbers so it goes to negative 50. And so that's, that's a really quick and easy way to make a calculator and if you wanted to change the operands to divide it you only have to change that one little symbol where you're putting it to the, to the output label to the divided symbol instead of a plus. Also, you'll notice real quick, this form popped up in the center of the screen, and if you do any coding in NetBeans, you'll notice your forms pop up in the upper right-hand corner. Um, to get it to come to the center of the screen like that, in the design view, click on your, your form here, and go over to the code, and from this form size policy, you select um, generate resize code, and I, un I unselect the generate size and leave the generate center checked. And that's kind of just a little professional polish touch that makes your windows pop up in the middle and gives it a, a better feel to it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to code a calculator with two operands. I'm Josiah Ray.